Pillar Point Harbor, a protected harbor of refuge along the California coast, is home to a vital and growing commercial fishing industry. Fishermen here still sell fish straight off the boat, a custom that has diminished over the years in other harbors. The fishing trade is not easy. Under modern government regulation and growing costs of operation, a fisherman can find it difficult to seek such things as continuing education for themselves or their children. The Pillar Point Educational Fund, Incorporated, was established to help provide local fishermen and their families with educational grants and, at the same time, return the Irene, a former fishing boat, to her home harbor as a harbor tour boat. This video introduces the people who established the fund and shows some of the restoration process on the Irene. Yeah. I'm Leland Parsons. Uh, my wife and I founded the Irene Project. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm Cecily Parsons. My husband and I founded the Irene Great. Project. Okay. <laughs> so, um, and this is this is the uh, the Irene back behind you. Yeah. And uh, what uh, drew you to wanting to restore the Irene? I, you know, that's uh, it's too good a question. I don't have a good enough answer. But uh, basically, uh, as I've had this affinity towards the fishing industry, and mostly the fishermen's plight. Um, it's a hard business, no matter how you cut it, and uh, in today's regulations make it even more difficult. So by the time you get through with the regs and taking care of your permits and fees and maintenance, there's very little money left over for uh, advanced education. Okay. And the, the funds that the Irene makes will go into educational grants for the fisherman's family right here. So we established it. Uh, as in most harbors, there's at least three or four tour boats. So the, it all came together that if we put a harbor tour boat in here, and not only that, not only a harbor tour boat, but a uh, vintage well, actually, one. Actually, we were very, very fortunate, and we were uh, given the name of a CPA who was willing to form the nonprofit for us uh, pro bono. So that he's been in doing all the real work. Of course, there's a lot to forming a nonprofit organization. But I'm doing the bookkeeping and the ca taking care of who's the donations are from and who the volunteers are, and being sure that thank you notes are written and people are aware of how grateful we are that they've come on board and are part of this, we feel, wonderful project. We met a gentleman here, Peter, Peter Guernsey, who we met in San Diego at the Wooden Boat Show before we left San Diego. And he's come aboard as the CEO of the, of the group. And, and fishermen uh, from the area that are part of, part of our board. And yeah, the local fishermen will decide where the grants go because they, they know go. the area and they, they're nobody better suited to decide where the where the funds go and uh, under what tell me about the toy boats I, I've noticed <laughs> you know I, the the earlier today the little boy came by asking if he should paint his boat and and I explain a little bit about what that's, well, that's uh, doing. so often you get the kids in the and and they're cute and polite I get so intrigued watching it being built it's quite a it's he quite a deal for them. It for them as they watch so you can see the process of his he actually builds the boat for okay. each individual Thank child you. Yes, this this is one of the one of the, the wooden shape, boats. The, idea this, is the shape the is the shape is the Monterey fishing boat. Oh, okay. And the Monterey fishing boat is a classic. Um, it's a classic hull design. It's wooden been boat. it's been used in the world to uh, for uh, the cliff of bow and the uh, canoe stern. Okay. And um, a very low low deck. The deck is very close to the water, uh, which made it easy for the uh, fishermen to reach over and gaff the the fish. Hi, my name is Alex Becker, and I'm a volunteer on the Irene Restoration Project. I live in Moss Beach. Well, I'm retired. And I went for a walk, and I saw this project, and I thought that was a very worthwhile use of my time. There. To be a volunteer to work on the rest restoration project, do you, do you have to have a, a knowledge of woodworking or, or boat making or do you, you're pretty well instructed by Leland as to what to do and when to do it? Oh, we're pretty well instructed by Leland. I don't have any knowledge about boating, boat making, and he certainly does. Right, right from here down 20, 24 to 30 inches is a taper. Okay. This is the old, the bottom here is the old rib. Right. And everything from this tapered line up is new. And these are laminated, these are 3 eighths of an inch thick white oak laminations that have been glued and, and fastened to the hull. 
took me a long time to figure this out. These uh, here on the west coast are called pegs. All right. On the east coast, they're stanchions. So well, they were talking pegs, and I'm talking stanchions. I didn't know what the heck they were talking about. <laughs> but these are pegs, and uh, they where they go to the deck is right here. This is the deck. All right. Where the deck will go. And right here, they leak. And the fresh water from washing the boat and rain came down here, and that's what rotted the boat out over 82 and years. And the other thing that's interesting is the Coast Guard has been involved since day one. And they're so intrigued with it, they're holding classes here. Oh. Because the boat is so open that you can't hide anything, and they can, so they bring their cadets over, and they're teaching them wooden boat inspection and wooden boat restoration. How often do they do that? Uh, I call them, they become, uh, typically they've been coming once every month, once every two months, and they come over, and they're all wooden boat guys, so they love the thing, and they've been absolutely wonderfully uh, helpful in, uh, in the whole all, system. All of these, these are carriage boats. Right. The old boat had been fastened three times, including its original fastening. So the boat had been fastened twice after its original fastening. And the Coast Guard wanted to pull the, the, some of the fastenings out to inspect them. Well, in the process of pulling out the fasteners, you end up tearing the plank up. So we compromised and suggested that uh, we put through bolts in, carriage bolts, and then uh, and refasten it. And this is what we, how we get them in the, the one inch up from the seam. And then this gives you the angle, both right and left, and up and down. Oh. And that's how you get the angle going through, so you end up at the right angle, the right distance on the way out. And most of the time, we drill through the old, uh, the old fastening. Oh. So uh, that makes the coast cut happy and makes a sound uh, a more sound boat. shores you will once more roam your story will be shared and pillar points will do those who call this harbor home smile at the sight of you sail sail i read tell your stories true sail sail i read or the waves of blue when at last you sail again our hearts will fill with glee sail sail i read on the deep blue sea the monterey class was the backbone of the fishing fleet they say and irene did her part to bring home the catch each day for more than 70 years, she served one family. But now there won't be fish aboard, only people on deck, you'll see. Sail, sail, I read, tell your stories true. Sail, sail, I read, o'er the waves of blue. When at last you sail again, our hearts will fill with glee. Sail, sail, I read on the deep blue sea. Sail, sail, I read on the deep blue sea.